which we honor 17 of our fallen heroes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing well. So you guys are going to have a lot of people who will just do this run in their normal running attire, but there are a lot of law enforcement who will be out there in their full uniform. How heavy is that? Uh, the gear weighs about 32 pounds, and we have about 50 officers running that today. I mean, that's pretty remarkable for them to do something like this. Uh, it's great. These guys uh, do this all across the country to draw awareness to the fallen officers. Uh, it's a big brotherhood, and they're here paying uh, tribute to them to make sure we'll never forget their sacrifices. How is the money used that you do raise? I'm sorry, can you say that again? How is the money used that you raise? The money that is raised for this is used for the families of the fallen officers. And what we do is support the families. Um, we can provide them a little bit of uh, support with food, shelter, uh, gardening, taking care of the kids. Uh, but 100% of the proceeds go to supporting the families of the fallen officers. Wow, what time does all of this start? It looks like there's a countdown back behind there, like 16 minutes. Uh, we are actually going to kick off the uh, 5K right now, and that's uh, Sheriff Christensen who kicks it off. And we're going to get that going in about a few seconds here when he kicks that out. Okay, and then the officers that are running in their full uniform, they're doing a half marathon. They're doing 13.1 miles, and they've already started, so they're out on the course now. Uh, they should finish about two hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I know a lot of them have been training out there for this because uh, that's not easy to be able to do. Uh, how many years have you guys been doing this memorial run? Uh, this is the seventh annual. Uh, each year it gets bigger and bigger. This year we have about 2,000 registered runners. Um, it's a great event uh, sponsored by Doctors Medical Center, and if you haven't come to it, it's great. It'll be the first weekend in October next year, so I highly advise checking it out. You can check out our, uh, our website at www.peaceofficermemorialrun.com. All right, when are you going to get, so like a few seconds here, that you're going to get started. Good turnout there. We are going to kick it off. We kick it off at actually 7.20, so okay. it's, it's going to be a, a few more minutes. <laughs> uh, this could be very emotional for a lot of the families that have been affected by this when they show up. Is that right? Yes, actually, we just did an award for the, uh, the family of the fallen officers, and uh, 17 of the officers are out there running with badge numbers of the fallen officers in honor of those officers who've fallen in Stanislaus County. Well, very cool that you guys are out there doing that. And uh, the, everything, the, the uh, half marathon, does that start at 7 a.m.? Uh, the half marathon started at 7 a.m., and we're going to kick off the 5K right now. And uh, we do a kids' fun run as well. It's free to all kids who want to come out, and the sheriff deputizes them, and they, they run a couple blocks for free. Okay, love it. And they'll also have uh, some things out there to go to see afterwards in case uh, you missed doing the run, but um, all the officers will be out there, and you can see there's several vendors out there as well. All right, thank you. We have a large display.